Welcome back to Avalon and Ninth. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another two week combined, 52 weeks of fandom. Now, if you remember last, was last week's video, um, I realized that I had made a mistake and actually jumped ahead. And so instead of doing weeks 38 and 39 in one video, I ended up doing week 38 and 40. So now we're going back and this is going to be week 39 and week 41. So that's what I have here. So I have this kit um, from Jam Sticker Studios, I think it is. I, it, her shop's not open anymore. I've had it for years. Like when I say years, we're probably like four years is what we're going on. But this was the week of Halloween. And was it the week of Halloween? No, it wasn't the week of Halloween. Couldn't be the week of Halloween. Yeah, it wasn't the week of Halloween. I don't know what week we're on. Jeez Louise. I'm really hoping. It, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because I didn't. Yeah. So it was the end of end of September. Hello. I should know what this is by now. But this is what I get for using a old planner too. Can't rely on the calendars in that one either. So <laughs> enjoy my mistakes. So this is the end of September into the first part of October. Um, and this was, I mean, like I said, I've had this kit in my stash for forever. So yeah. Oh, maybe it's not an old planner. No, it's not. Ignore me. Apparently I can't even tell what, what planner is accurate in terms of calendaring. All because I screwed up my, um, all because I screwed up my, uh, dates with the last week. So anyways, moving on, um, just not that it pertains to this week that's here, but my oldest son had a costume, um, like a dance party to go to, um, and he chose to be... Uh, the Phantom from Phantom of the Opera and ended up winning first place in like most unique I want to say so yeah like we went out got him like a whole suit we made the mask like he was a dapper dash and looking guy if I don't say so myself so it was kind of nice to start off October with this kit um like I said I was catching up I'm still doing some catch up but you know that's okay that's okay because I've got ideas for the next one that isn't going to involve combining two videos into one. So, because it's not going to be at this day in history. So, all right. So, I'm just laying down everything and I'm going to do what I did. What was it? A few weeks ago. Well, I guess it was the last week where I'm kind of keeping like the this, the, this day in history. Ooh, that's hard. Um, all in like a row and then writing everything instead of staggering things. So, um, all of the script stickers are from my shop. It is font number three in the size, size small, or did I do this one in size medium? I can't remember. Um, I would opt for, no, this is a size medium. That's right. I'm looking up at my sizing. Yep, size medium. And the emoji is obviously from the Coffee Monsters Co. So, on Monday the 27th, 1869, Sheriff Wild Bill Hickok is only sheriff for three months before losing the election. His methods disturbed local residents in Kansas. So they were having um, some big problems with, like, crime in the area. They brought in this sheriff because he was had this um like method about it and literally he went into like a bar and he just started like shooting people because they were being ruly and all of that and then he like threw the bodies out like the story was wild and it freaked out the residents and they were like yeah you're not gonna you're not gonna be our sheriff anymore so 
Moving on to Tuesday, 1928. Penicillin is discovered by Sir Alexander Fleming. He left a plate of bacteria uncovered, and when mold had fallen on it, he had noticed it killed the bacteria. So, that is how penicillin was discovered. How interesting that that... Um, he was actually... What was it? I think he was like... He was eating when he noticed it. I can't remember the full story. Maybe I'm just like making that up. Um, but, you know, there was like a huge long story. Obviously, I only have so much room to write. So... Uh, but, you know, he accidentally leaves something uncovered. You never know what next discovery you might make. So... You know, even when we make mistakes, they can turn into beautiful things. I think that's totally an accurate statement. So Wednesday the 29th, uh, 1988, Stacy Allison becomes the first American woman to reach the summit of Mount Everest. Ooh, that's, um, there wasn't like, it wasn't a huge huge story on that one. There wasn't anything exciting that happened with her or anything like that. Um, but it was just to mark that she was the first one to reach the summit, which honestly, anybody who reaches the summit like that, you know that that took some dedication, time, effort, and like deep down grit perseverance. I know I couldn't do it. So Thursday the 30th, 1927, Babe Ruth hits his 60th homer of the season. This record would stand for 34 years before being broken. So it did not say who broke it, and I didn't go in to see who um, did, but I thought that was that was pretty awesome. Like in the 19, 1920s to 1940s, like baseball was really awesome. Really awesome. So Friday the 1st, 1946. Nazi war criminals are sentenced at Nuremberg. And this is obviously where we get the Nuremberg Code. This is also where, um, so it's like a whole code of things that you can and can't do to people all the way around, just not in like war or anything like that. It's just in like as people as a whole. Because the Nazis did some not so nice things to people. So, uh, Saturday the 2nd. 1965, Gatorade is invented at the University of Florida and is named after the school's mascot. In fact, the first um, batch that was, like, successful, they they drank it, and it, they said it was the most disgusting thing in the world. Um, and, yeah, so <laughs> to know that it now has, like, all these different flavors. I personally like Gatorade. My favorite is the orange. Uh, followed by, I think it's Cool Blue. Those are like my two go-to Gatorades. So, you know, if you're a fan of Gatorade, then you know. If you're not a fan of Gatorade, that's cool. But that's how Gatorade got its name. Saturday the 3rd. 2011, Amanda Knox's murder conviction is overturned in Italy. I watched the um, documentary that was on Netflix. That was fascinating. Oh my gosh, it sucked me in. It was so fascinating. So... Moving on to week 41, this is a kit from Glam Planner. I am using up the stickers. I'm gonna use up the stickers. I pull out, what do I pull out? I pull out November's, um, not this November's, last November's, November's um, monthly functional sub because the maroons, greens, and blues really go well with this kit. So that's the one that I'm looking at right there. See, here I'm like, hmm, how does this look? How does this look together? So I went ahead and I pulled those out. And then I'm going to use all of the stickers that came in this kit because, well, at least all of the full boxes because I don't use those work stickers right there. But I take that um, strip of glitter header or that strip of glitter, I don't know, and I use it as headers up at the top. I find that that works the best and I'll just move it along and do that and then take the two washi strips and put them down at the bottom I um, I don't like butt them up against each other although if you were like doing big plans in like the planner this would be like perfect washi because it gives you they're so thin um, or short 
I, I, they are not really, I wouldn't say thin. They're just not, they don't have a lot of height to them onto the page. So, um, they work. And then they work really well for like marking things that have to go over like times of day. So, grabbing whatever date dots I can off of this page to add to the date covers, trying to use it. And just, they are just not wanting to come off without me like, kind of turning it over so I'm just placing as many date dots on the back of my hand as possible and then obviously I put it on the wrong hand because I am not left-handed so you know having to to do some double duty here but we're getting in, we're we are gonna get into this so this is definitely into October we haven't quite hit Halloween yet which those the videos are coming we just got to get through all these videos first so and we, we are just fine and on track for everything so we're good so I love the date covers I love the colors I think the kit the colors match this theme really really well and that double double boxes I'm not usually a person who uses double double boxes um, just because they obviously take up so much room but in something like this I think it's a really great um, like you can use you can take up that space however I probably should have like cut that washi right there and like moved it down some that's the only thing that I keep forgetting to do when I use kits and get those double double boxes is to cut that washi and move it down um, just so it doesn't take up so much space so I've got all of these full boxes, like tons of them, tons of them, and I'm going to use them all. So I just go ahead and I pull out the sticky notes to use as my um, background for this day in history script, and then obviously my emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. That has not changed at all. So we're going to get right into it. I love this Casper kit. It makes me super happy. It's really exciting and really fun. But... Monday the 11th, 1975, Saturday Night Live debuts on NBC. The 90-minute program features uh, Chevy Chase, John Belushi, Dan Aykroyd, Gilda Radner, and others, and more. So I just ran out of room to, to write all of that. So apparently I'm on like this Curse of Writing kick don't know if it's gonna keep going but as of right now it is I'm just enjoying it so moving on to Tuesday Tuesday is actually a really short day so we end up doing a double box on Tuesday um, and if you heard my dogs barking there in just like just a few seconds ago I apologize because they're being ridiculous and I don't know why Probably because the dog next door is barking and they can hear it. So if another dog is barking, they're like, I'll have to bark too. So, 1997, John Denver dies after crashing into Monterey Bay. I don't remember this. Well, I should say, I don't remember that he crashed into Monterey Bay. I do remember that he crashed, but I for sure thought it would be something like in like Colorado or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm having like a Mandela effect or something. I don't know. But that one, I was like, really? He crashed in Monterey Bay? I don't remember that, but okay. So, 1999 on Wednesday the 13th. Uh, the grand jury is dismissed in the Jean Benet Ramsey murder case after the DA announces there will be no indictments due to insufficient evidence. I remember this case. I think most everybody remembers this case. This was a, this was a crazy one. And just the way that things happened, I mean, obviously we know now that they did everything wrong in the world, um, but it's just like, you wish you had some sort of closure. Like, at least that's me. I wish there was some sort of closure. So the 14th, we're going back to 1962. Does anybody remember what happened in 1962? I don't because I wasn't alive then. So, 1962, Cuban Missile Crisis begins bringing the U.S. and Soviet Union to the brink of nuclear conflict. Has this really just not been 
out of the norm since nuclear weapons were invented. I feel like in this, um, you know, like in this project, this day in history, I've, I've seen a lot of things where it's been constant about nuclear weapons or some sort of nuclear plant, things like that. And I'm just kind of like, I mean, when you hear it and then you have a lot of days that go by, but when you start to like see it over and over again, especially when you're doing this, it's, it's a little eye opening that it's happened a lot, a lot. So the 15th, 1990, Mikhail Gorbachev wins the Nobel Peace Prize for his work in ending Cold War tensions. That's what it said. I'm not either going to agree or disagree, but that's what that day said. And some, I have noticed that on some of these days, like I'm very limited in what's given to me. And I'm like, are there really days that nothing amazing happens in history? Um, but obviously, history is written by those who win, who decide to publish it, all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? So... Maybe there's like a lot of stuff that just isn't published for us to see because they just don't want to do it. I don't know. I digress. 1923 on Saturday, Walt Disney and his brother Roy found the Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio in Hollywood, California. That's a pretty happy one. I'll take that because I love Disney. I really do. I really, my kids are fascinated with Disney World. My husband's fascinated now. We can't wait to go back. Like, it brings happiness, so I'm, I'm happy with that one there. And the 17th, 1931, Al Capone is sentenced to 11 years in prison for tax evasion. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. So, I'm just going to add these couple of extra boxes over here into the sidebar to finish it up, because we all know that I don't use the sidebar. And that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And guys, I'll see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.